Here with the coach Scott Bork after a 4-1 over Bentley. Coach, can we start with a comment on the win tonight? Uh, just, you know, I was really happy the way we came out and played. I mean, we knew they'd been off for a little while, so it was important to kind of get on our toes and, and uh, get after them early in the game. I thought we did that. Um, I was just, I was pleased with our start and, and our finish. You know, I think we got a little fancy, tried to do a little bit too much in the second period and transition pucks for them. But overall, I thought it was a good evening for us. The guys that you had that were usually regulars that, that were out tonight, are they long-term, short-term? I mean, what's kind of the prognosis on those guys? Like uh, I'm not certain in a couple yeah. of cases. I mean, I'm hoping in a short-term um, because we need them back. But, um, you know, really there's only um, Yui and Jandrick are two guys that I think are still very questionable about when they'll be back. Um, obviously two, two important players for us. But it was good to see contributions from other guys tonight who might have to fill those roles. I was going to say, I mean, you could – You've talked about it before when something like that happens and opens up opportunities for other guys. And Bell Kilgore gets his first. And you have a couple of guys that are, like you said, have been kind of lower on the line chart that have been able to break through and get some goals. Yeah, I was really pleased for those guys. You know, I thought that uh, you know Mark's line, Mark and Devlin and Reagan Kimmins, they were all saying it was college line, and um, you know they never played together there, but but uh, you know, they played really well together here tonight. And I thought they created a lot of opportunities. Coach, I thought in that first period you were very good five on five. We were, and I thought we played straight lines. I thought in the second period we got a little bit too fancy and tried to do a little bit too much. Uh, but after the, the third period, I think we came back to that. But I really liked the way we played the first period. That's that's how we have to play. And I think we do that. We keep it simple. We can be pretty good hockey team. You, you put 50 shots on net. I mean, that, that doesn't happen very often. You've preached the last couple of weeks just trying to get more pucks through, not being picky about your opportunities. Overall, you know, did you see some of the things you might have worked on this week in practice translate a little bit more into tonight's game as far as getting them? Yeah, I, especially in the first and third period, I thought we you know, we played that way and we played downhill at the goal. He played well, I thought. Uh, made some good saves and you know we did get rebound chances, but I give their defense and him credit for that. Um, but I thought it was good to get that many shots on net. You know, I think whenever you uh, attack a net like that, you're going to be successful. Uh, second period, we passed up shots, and I was surprised by that. You know, as I said to the guys, if you think it's going to be that kind of a game, I'd shoot the puck from everywhere. You know, and uh, we tried to look for the guy. I got a little fancy trying to look for the weak side of the ice, but overall, though, I thought we did a good job at the net front. Talk last week about with you and kind of the pucks that were bouncing off when you wanted to try to see him control those rebounds a little bit better. What do you, what do you think of the way? I, I thought tonight he was good. You know, he wasn't asked to do a ton, but when he was asked to do stuff, it was like breakaways or maybe a two-on-one, and I thought he was really solid tonight. He didn't, even, you know, the one that, the power play, I feel bad because it would have been nice to get a shutout. It would have been his first, but um, I thought he did a nice job controlling his rebounds tonight. Really looked confident and calm. I know it's right after, but how do you build on something like this, you know, just seeing, you know, the success of getting pucks through, finding guys, creating offensive scoring chances going into now what's going to be hockey East the rest of the way. Yeah, I, I think the good thing for us, too, is that the guys who played, who haven't played much recently, played really well. That will make everybody else a better player because they'll have to be moving into uh, next week in practice. And so I'm hoping that the competitive uh, nature of our lineup can make us better going forward. That was the biggest thing I think we got from tonight. Coach, how do you prepare for a game at the last moment? We did it all last year. So it was, it, it's, um, it's hard to do. Uh, for the guys, we just tried to make it about ourselves, so we didn't make it about who we were going to play because really we didn't know who we were going to play until right. uh, sometime Friday when I think Ryan got his team cleared. You know, right. he didn't even have his team cleared, so uh, we weren't sure if we were going to play, and then we weren't sure who we would play. Uh, so we just tried to make it about us and um, and move forward in that in that kind of mentality. What do you think of the way Matt Pony looked on that top line too? Big, big I mean, he's played well, but big promotion yeah. for him playing with Matt tonight. Well, he played really well, I thought, against UMass there. Um, you know, tonight I thought he did a good job. You know, he's he's a very young player, certainly the youngest player in the rink today. And um, so you can see that he he needs to add some strength, but uh, he makes plays. He can really skate, and he's a hard nosed kid. And um, I think he's done a really nice job. I think it's a tough thing to ask for a young player like that to play in uh, hockey East and to play against a team that's real physical. And I think he's done a nice job of it.